Today we will discuss chapter number 8. The name of the chapter is Seeing is Believing. Now we are able to see the different things around us and that is being done by the help of light. If there won't be any light, we won't be able to see anything around us like your study table, your pen, pencil, anything. Anything which we are able to see, we are able to see it with the help of light. And the objects which will allow the light to pass through them very easily, so we'll be able to see through them. And the objects which won't allow the light to pass through it, we won't be able to see through them. So we'll discuss them one by one. In this chapter, we'll discuss about transparent, translucent and opaque objects, their examples, then about lens, their uses, and finally about microscope. So let's begin with transparent objects. Now what are transparent objects? The objects through which we can see clearly. Now let us imagine a situation that we want to see the scenery outside our house. So now we have two options for that. One is a window with glass panes and another one is a door which is made up of wood. Now, you will be able to see the scenery only through the window which is made up of glass panes and not through the door. Why? This is because the glass window, it, can say it consists of glass and that glass, it allows the light to pass through it. Now, the objects which allow the light to pass through it, we can see through them very clearly. And the objects on the other hand, which is wood in this case, we are not able to see through it because it does not allow the light to pass through it. Or in other words, it obstructs the path of light. So, this brings us to a definition of transparent objects. What are transparent objects? These objects, they allow the light to pass through them very easily. Now, the example, the best example being glass, glass tumbler, glass window, etc. can see an aquarium, a small minute aquarium which is made up of glass and a fish, you can see through it very easily. Why so? Because it is made up of glass. Now next for this category is translucent objects. What are translucent objects? The objects which allow the light to pass through them but not completely, only partially. These are known as translucent objects like example your tracing paper, and a paper with an oily patch, polythene bags. Now, what are these objects? We can see through them, like, right? but the clear image or the clear picture won't arise. So, these, they allow the light to pass through it, but they don't allow the complete light to pass through them. So, we are able to see only the minute things we can observe through these objects. These are called translucent objects. And finally, They do not allow the light to pass through them at all. Means no light can pass through them. That uh, as we have already discussed the example of the door which is made up of wood. So it didn't allow the light to pass through it. So we were not able to view the scenery outside it because it obstructs the path of light. So we cannot see through them. The examples being wood, table, brick and steel etc. Human beings, plants, these all are also the examples. Of opaque objects. So here we can see the transparent objects, what they will do. You can see here, like they will allow all the light rays which are coming from the torch. You can see all the rays are passed from this object because it allows it to pass. It gives it a path. It gives it a direction. You can travel from here. Now, in that case of translucent objects, you can see only few rays pass through it. And in the opaque one, you can see there is no light passing through this object. one is lens. Now what is lens? At one point of time or the other all of us have seen a lens in our lives. Now, what is lens? Lens actually it is made up of glass and its use is like it is used to magnify or minimize an object for better view. Like we have always used magnifying glass like you must have used it for writing, watching or seeing the letters, the minute letters in our book. So what happens in that case? They appear to be enlarged in size like here we can see 
very clearly. Here you can see a lens which is used to examine the small or finely detailed things like the fingerprints are being tested through it or the fine print. Some, uh, sometimes what happens in some cases the letters or the words are written in very minute uh, letters in minute form. So at that point of time we can use magnifying lens for the same. So the lenses we have used seen are uh, used in our spectacles as we know that some people they suffer from the vision problem like they are not able to see some uh, people are not able to see the far objects clearly some are not able to see the near objects clearly so in that case the different lenses are used and the in fact the most common use of lenses is in our spectacles only they are also used in uh, telescopes which help to see the stars and the planets and they are used in optical instruments like binoculars or photographic camera etc and they are also used in peephole of doors like uh, for the security purposes nowadays what I have what is having there like the doors they consist of a peephole so that we can view from inside that who uh, who the person is outside like who is ringing the bell so we can see through that so the peepholes they also consist of lenses can see the different uses of lenses in telescopes, in camera, in peepholes of our doors. Now, this brings us to the final topic of our today's session that is microscope. Now what is microscope? Now let us first understand the meaning of micro. Micro means minute. So an object which makes us, which enables us to see the minute things which otherwise we are not able to see clearly through our naked eyes that is known as microscope. Now at first during the year 1590, two Dutch spectacle makers, their name being Zacharias Jensen and his father Hens, they were the first to discover microscope or to invent microscope. Now they discovered a kind of compound microscope which consists of two or more lenses. After some years, like Antony Leeuwenhoek, he was a person, he was very interested in lenses. What he used to do, like uh, he firstly used lenses and then uh, to count the threads in the woven clothes. And after that, he became so interested that he started making lenses. He started grinding them, polishing them and made small, small lenses with great curvatures. Now, these lenses that he made, they had a very great magnification, like up to 275 times. And because of this reason only, because of this, his contributions in the field of microscopy, he is termed as or he is known as father of microscopy. Nowadays, there are many more improved microscopes being used by scientists for the study of microorganisms. Now, what are these microorganisms? These are the organisms which we are not able to see through our naked eyes. That's all for the day. children. Thank you so much. Have a very good day ahead.